Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you the walkthrough and a guide for the Farmlands Iron Challenge of Kingdom Rush and giving you a little bit of commentary and play-by-play -play as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take, let you take a look at the upgrades. First of all, there are not gonna be any barracks to place down, so I've decided to spread my um, spread my talent points or my upgrades this way, increase the range, but also really have uh, or really give your reinforcements um, more health and are better equipped so they deal a little bit more damage. That's going to be very, very helpful. And later on, as we are now going to go ahead and just start this wave, Iron Challenge on the Farmlands, stage two for the additional bonus star and the fifth star at level two. So. Here we go. You start off automatically with 220. So that will allow you to get um, a couple archer towers here. So what I really want to do is I want to create a nice kill zone here and I can place and summon militia right into this location and have three towers dealing bonus damage. Now this is going to be one super wave. So unfortunately, I cannot call in waves early to try to lower the amount of reinforcement time it does take. You can see that a lot of those guys are just simply dying well before they even get with in any of these militia and the militia are also better equipped than last time dealing two to four damage better than a level one barracks now as i slowly get more and more money i will also be upgrading these towers to deal more damage and i'll probably also create another kill zone down over here when the time comes as i'm just calling in as many militia as i can and also calling in the rain of fire trying to figure out where to do it is always um, very important i decided to put it back over here because that scorched earth is going to prevent a lot more of these units from really reaching me and going to come out on top also going to upgrade that card this guard tower as well to try to maximize the damage it looks like the damage will be maximized or the damage is increasing as well this pair of militia summoned a little bit too far away but it doesn't look like it will matter as this wave seems to keep on coming and and very, being very, very relentless, this may be a little, a little bit difficult. Hopefully, I will be able to upgrade another tower there. And now, hopefully, nothing really squeezes by any further. This is looking pretty, pretty um, dicey right now. As, as you can see, a lot of these um, ogres are slowly starting to make their way past. Gonna go ahead and summon another archer tower down over here. Continue to utilize this front as as the real choke point and hopefully this one archer tower down over here should be enough to really slow it down and if not i can i can always summon extra militia but i believe that that tower should be enough yeah there you go getting a little bit lucky there but then again it does take a little bit of luck in order to get ahead in in this particular matchup now gonna go ahead and summon another archer tower down over here and hopefully and um, that should be enough gonna, and now let's see what's gonna happen here i will go ahead and call in a fire over there cutting off all the reinforcements and then upgrading another tower there that should be enough to slow down and and stop this continuing incoming wave of units as i still have two guard towers here and those units are still getting slowed down i believe that will be the last in just a moment so if i need to i can go ahead and summon more militia here and then i believe i can start selling this tower and then start upgrading these towers that are further down um, further down the road um, once again selling your towers the archer towers can be sold and rebuilt it is one of the level one abilities that allows you to um, sell your towers at 90 percent cost and make sure that essentially you can almost move your tower for free to get that kill and get the fifth star here on the farmlands thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed um, a little bit of this tutorial um, i'll be posting up more let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have tried out the game thanks for watching thanks for listening and good luck to you guys